Open water with sharks in it, he gon' swim back. Ain't stopping down the cool line. For that money respect, I'm more than willing to shoot you line. Are, you have been, been. you will be under the pool. Double up two times. Cool with rules, young hoes, you fly shit. Stash box, pop in your face in the cockpit. Steady mob with no politics in the gossip. It's the group, man, brown hair, nigga, watch this. Burn. How are your relationships with others from other sex? Like, for instance, you know, Brims, you say, you know some today, y'all cool. You done went through some shit, you know what I mean? Well, but today, East Coast, for instance, six, whoever that might be. Well, I got a few, I got, I got a few uh, Brim partners that I, yeah. I hang out, I, well, I, don't, I talk to them. I got a few to do some 60s. At one time, the 60s in, in Five Deuces was cool. So right, you know, right, at one right. time, we was cool. So they was well, trying to explain that because a lot of people don't understand that. A lot of Hoovers don't even know that. Yeah. That five Deuces in the 60s were tight. But yeah, we was, the 60s used to come over there all the time. You know, we close by. So, you know, they was trying to basically recruit some of the little homies. Mm -hmm. You know, so I guess uh, they wanted us to join up with them, you know, whatever. Uh, they used to come to, they used, we had a little party house they used to come to on 53rd. Right? What name up? The Brain. The Brain. Yeah, they used to those come that through. don't know. Yeah, we used to come through. We used to have we had a party house, you know. Uh, <laughs> we come to every Saturday or Sunday. Yeah. Brain open up yeah. the doors, man. Yeah. Everybody, it was all they cracking. And, you know, once the girls come, it's going to attract a lot of people. Yeah, so we used to get the coasters, the sixties, yeah. the ETGs used to come yeah. over there. And you know, when you're up and coming gang, mm -hmm. you know, people have tried to take advantage a little bit right. to see what they to yeah. test the water, mm -hmm. see what they can do. Mm -hmm. So you know, it's skirmishes broke out relationships got damaged yeah and, yeah you know with that right there uh, mm. but that's your, your relationship though is solidified it's it's a relationship you could speak on when it comes to other sets today oh yeah right. exactly most of uh, you know we was we was up and coming hoovers mm -hmm. so when you are up and coming gang mm -hmm. a lot of the older gang really ain't respecting you you know, to the mm -hmm. point to where they can see where they ain't to be messed with. So mm -hmm. that's that's what happened at the brains. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, what year? What year are we speaking? Did we talking like uh, seventy nine? Mm -hmm. But basically, little homie started like the summer of seventy eight, mm -hmm. and in seventy nine, basically we got recognized by on the brains over there. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it was always over a girl, but you know, uh, we got into it with the sixties over there. Had to run them out. Well, we got into it with the East Coasters first, mm -hmm. and we they it was some shooting jumped off, so we mm -hmm. went over there looking for them six mm -hmm. deuces. Well, yeah, we just you know, right, whatever. Yeah. We went over there looking for them, and uh, could you know whatever we had a fight over there, okay. and then we 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 broke up with the sixties mm -hmm. over over some woman over there. Kinda like uh, you know, had a damper on that relationship for yeah. a minute. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, uh, uh, we actually established ourselves right there on Fifty Third as a gang. That's right. With the uh, uh, protecting our turf right there. Okay. Okay. That was in like seventy nine, so and that was sitting. That was yeah, around seventy nine. I I have something in the comments, and uh, I want to you know pose this question to you. So in the comments, there's a question that's asked. It goes up: How was it that the five dudes who've gangster crips were able to withstand this strong the push against the other hoovers to get gangster off the handle, and instead be placed with crib? How was it that y'all able to withstand that? Can you speak to that? This togetherness, you know, mm -hmm. everybody stuck to their guns. We didn't have nobody going off grid talking about, man, we can't do this and nothing. We, everybody said, this is, we gangsters, we're going to stick One to One voice. It. Yeah, we're going to just, we going to, everybody stuck to it. We gangsters, we're going to stick to that. It's just like uh, some of the homies claim, they claim criminal. 
They mm-hmm. stuck to it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? This yeah. Is, we, but we you know we was gangsters before they started claiming criminal. But we had to stick. We had to stick to it. You know okay. what I mean? So, Got you. And it, it just it's just about resilience. Mm-hmm. Just going through it, whatever whatever come mm-hmm. up. You know, we had a bunch of you can't do that. You got you know, whatever it was. Just all kind of stuff too. I guess like you said, time just heals everything. We stayed away. Everybody stayed away for a minute, and I guess it just. Just, just, just went together, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Because, mm-hmm. but he, we kept claiming gangster, so mm-hmm. that was it. And it wasn't because of uh, the G wasn't because, like I said, it wasn't be from the broad. It was from the gladiators, from mm-hmm. our origin, your heritage. Basically. Yeah, yeah, you know, inher- you know, the, the property we inherited. Mm-hmm. You know, our turf. We mm-hmm. inherited that from the gladiators. Mm-hmm. They had marked that off in the sixties. So that's why upholding the history, right? Yeah. So that's what we explained. Yeah. That's where our G came from. It didn't come from nothing else. Mm-hmm. came from that yeah and, and furthermore it, it was hoover still so hoover, what, what's the, the argument? forefront is the h yeah. you know yeah. what i mean so, so you know. i i have one man and i tell you i i said this a few times when i'm talking to the people the collective about five dudes to thick and ten yeah all you know them. what i mean ain't ain't changed ain't changed a lick and you know basically all of us are still we still together you know still we together we still talk yeah we still talk yeah uh, it, it, it's gangster crip, it's crip, but it's Hoover, and there are criminal elements amongst the five dudes. So, right, oh, so yeah. don't get it twisted. <laughs> you know, they want to know that, and and I think you spoke to it. It, it should have a broader understanding now of what kept you guys. What was the glue? It kept you guys together when the rest of the car was pushing to try to kick that from y'all. Have y'all, you know, we didn't have no choice. That. We didn't have no choice. Yeah. We had to stick together. Because that's what we know. Once you make up your mind, that's what you want. Mm-hmm. And if you sway and, and say we can't do that, that's that's a sign of weakness. There you go. You, know, you didn't already gave in. You didn't cave. Yeah. Yeah. Sign of weakness. So yeah. we, we weren't showing the weakness yeah. on that. Mm-hmm. And, and to be clear, again, I'm and I'm just I'm not harping on it. I'm just going to throw this up. It is five dudes who've against the crib. Don't get it twisted. And in that element, there are criminals. So you know, I think people need to understand that. You know, okay. that you know that get out. Um, that said, man, um, the OGs, you know, if you, if you look at a lot of shit, man, in terms of you, the older, the older homies, they stuck to cripping, even in the face of what the rest of the set was doing, the next generation, how we decided, you know, we're going to, this is Hoover Crip, but we criminals, you know, uh, I had someone ask in the comments. How is it that RGs, this is what they established, set down, man, and yet here we come, wanting to change the landscape, you know, so to speak, wanting to change, you know, how we spit this shit, Hoover Crip, from Hoover Crip to even Hoover Gangster Crip to, you know, Hoover Gangster Crip and we criminals, you know what I mean? How is that possible? Is that, isn't that a sign of disrespect if we do that? What's your take on that? My take on it is uh, most of the younger generation, Claim criminal, just like you know, basically we claiming gangster, mm-hmm. and it's it's a it's an entity in Hoover. We are all know. under the H, so you know the youngsters they don't do what they gonna do. You know, we can't keep watching films from the thirties <laughs> and think that we gonna still do with that. So time elevates. You know, it's called evolution. You know, they went here, but they still with the H. So, with you know, the they H. can be a criminal. But how many times you been in jail? Oh, you a criminal? Anyway, you, know, you, know, you, you know, go one time. How many times you been in prison? You know, you a criminal anyway. So, you know, a threat to society, whatever the judge is going to tell you. But, no, I just think that uh, uh, the younger cats, you know, wanted something to, to put a mark on the H, and they that's what they wanted to do. Mm-hmm. Then, you know, they said, we we, we, hold, we hold with criminals. You but okay with that? I don't, you know, I don't have a problem with it. Okay. You know, I got kids. They change every day. I got yeah. granddaughters. Yeah. They always got something different. They do. Yeah. You know, they still, they still with the family. Yeah. You know what I mean? They, they still... Don't. Do what go. they need to do. It don't make no difference if you want to do this and that. As long as you know you under the H. And that's what that's, that's what that's what matters. That's what you matters, know, right? I, I tried to tell someone in the comments in speaking to this in particular. Um, it's oh man, uh you guys flip, you fold it, bub. You this, that, and that's the way, man. Man, you have to understand. You, you're not gonna really understand first if you're not from Hoover. Yeah. First, but Crip to me, and I did that as I did Crip and, is an affiliation. My representation is Hoover. That's first. That's first. You know, that's first. You know what I mean? Um, it, it's time, though, that we're at a time where it's changing, man. This, this get down is different. 
you know, like you just said, everything is evolving, you know, so the Crip had his time. Homies have put Crip on the back burner, so to speak, in, in, in all due respect, to let criminal cook, you know, and create the smoke now, you know what I mean? And whatever comes from that man, that's on them, you know, let it do what it do, you know. They still wear the H. They still represent that H, man. They still represent that H. So, you know, I appreciate your take on that, man. Uh, it's, it's different, but, it, you know, it's still Hoover. You got to evolve. You got to evolve, yeah. you know, which, you know, yeah. these youngsters is coming up. They still represent, you know, yeah. they out there doing their thing. You know, they wanted to, you know, call themselves something else, but they still under the H. Under H. You know? in, in your opinion, though, has that hurt? Hoover. Has that hurt Hoover? Like, you know, I think it strengthened it because okay. uh, has get, it hurt our relationships with you get, others? You get, hey, shit, we've been did that a long mm -hmm. time ago, okay. but uh, you know, it gets other youngsters involved that want to be a part. Oh, mm -hmm. I, I like criminal, you know, but mm -hmm. you don't know you Hoover though. You know? mm -hmm. Right, right. So that, that that gets more members. You know, what I mean, mm -hmm. you know, that strengthens the army. Mm -hmm. the army strengthens. Is it, it is safe to say that, in, in spite of criminal. In spite of criminals' existence, because we know it, it has legs, 22 two decades or better, would we still be in this situation that we're in with other sets? I think so. Because uh, when we when the, when the Hoovers came out, evolved, mm -hmm. we was just, we was we was brutal. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I've heard you say it. We got that. Everybody yeah. said the Hoover. No, I, I think that we already set the tone for Mm. Uh, ruthlessness a long yeah. time ago. Yeah. So anybody yeah. they get mad at us, yeah. they mad because for something that happened something a long happened. time ago. Yeah. And uh, I had uh, Loretta said it said it best. It, Monday when you get back to school, all the talk was was you hear about it. What Hoopers did it? Yeah, that Hoopers was it. Hoopers yeah. did that. So yeah, that's something else, man. Um, the way I the way you've spoken about the set, I I you know I. Um, I think you're saying that Hoover's more than to you is more than just a street game. Yeah, man, Hoover's my life. What you what is man? that? Uh, what, what is I that? uh uh Hoover to me it represents family, friends, and it represents a way of life where you gonna live. I, that way of life got set a long time ago, and when you in the fifties, everybody's mother knew everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And all the kids knew everybody, right. so we grew up together. Really, you uh, know, we did everything from standing in line getting government cheese or whatever we right. go get. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you don't know that you bonding with your next door neighbor until times get hard. You know, times yeah. is hard at right. that time. You know That's I mean? right. Uh, They're hard did. now. Yeah. And so you know, we are uh, uh, we stuck together and did what we gonna do. And then you know, like I said, the gladiators always was right there. So we already had some a precedent with a tough people me personally yeah i watched the gladiator yeah you know even though it was some of them was high on red devil but they was beasts out there mm. so i would that that was where my toughness came in so i i wanted to be a protector off the top yeah you know? that's what you got from that that's what i got from yeah that, you know what I'm saying? yeah but, uh, yeah uh togetherness hoover is togetherness mm. even to this day yes I'm sir still, i'm still in contact with homie I, all, yeah, all yes, of, sir. they all got my number i talked to all of yes them. sir you know what i mean yeah so you know, as you know, man, uh, when it comes to this Hoover shit, but five dudes Hoovers in particular, they've expanded. They've expanded, and they've, you know, Hoover's just, you know, it's all across this great corporation yeah. in the world. That's what right. you got to say to that? I, I what is potential? What, what's Hoover's potential based on that? Well, I just want to give a shout out to all the homies in other states like New York, yes, Georgia, sir. Yes, sir. Texas. Shreveport to Cooper Road, yes, sir. Dudes, all over, you know what I mean. And uh, uh yeah, well, Oklahoma, Oklahoma, got the, man, on, got, on, on. All on. we got the homies everywhere. Uh, that's just how that's just how uh, uh liked who is. I mean, mm -hmm. you, you got you can go to every state, yes, sir. And uh, you got somebody from either from one of one of the Hoover sets, somebody yes, sir. right there. Mm -hmm. So, but uh. I think it, it helped broaden a uh, uh, horizon on members this this nationwide. Mm -hmm. You know, you got all kind of you got you got homies from everywhere, and and, and they all they all together. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Everybody, I community. I talked to a few of them. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. 
since PT been in Texas, I've right. been talking to a few of them. Right. I mean, you know, yeah. They all down. You know what I mean? Yeah. They got, you know, they don't, they didn't have to have as many enemies as we have out here. And I think they're working on that not happening, not being so. Yeah. You know what I mean? They, they're working on it. They're working on it. So, you know, it's going, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. The potential, though, for this in, in terms of how Hoover, it's potential to evolve. How great is that? Evolve. See, right quick, and I'm going to let you hit me up with the response. We here in the land, Mecca, should evolve beyond anybody's wildest imagination, if you get what I mean. We we supposed to be, we supposed to be the ceiling, you know what I mean? Above that, you know what I mean? We didn't get there, in my opinion, as a as a as a collective here in the land. Here in the land. Here in the land. Okay, so that comes with expansion. And you know, when the when the trade went on in different parts of the country, when everybody was taking they getting their money. Mm -hmm down in different areas. Mm -hmm. My little homie Bam went down to Shreveport and started Five Deuces. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He got killed down there. Rest his mm -hmm. peace of soul. But I'm just saying, the evolution is good because it's like we boiled out right here and spread it out and made other boiling points that's mm -hmm. sometimes maybe even bigger than where we are. Mm -hmm. right now. But as you, we got older out here, and a lot of the young homies moved away and went to it's, it's homies all out in Louisiana, everywhere, Georgia. Mm -hmm. But we didn't, like you said, we didn't reach our potential here because we spanned out. We couldn't, mm -hmm. you know, we couldn't reach our potential. We lost members. Yeah. There were elements. Yeah, it was they elements. You know, that, you know yeah. then the homies started the back west, Gangster T. Mm -hmm. They started, they had, it was fine. They started that, and then other homies just spread it out. But we didn't go to the ceiling, like you said in california right like we supposed to but the ceiling is hit everywhere else mm -hmm. so we did our job they tapping in yeah they're getting above it yeah. we did our job yeah. the ceiling hit in other places and it's still rising up so this could remain the mecca and yeah. the mothers could be these these sparkling you know what i'm saying uh images or always, ideas of what hoover key is or can be you know yeah we, we it's the, it's the, the starting point you know yeah. what i mean it's yeah. gonna always be that's where the history is at yeah, the that's starting right. point. Right. I mean, you know. There you go. Okay. Three things. And I well, you asked them actually, but I'm gonna ask them again. Um, what does who mean to you? Other than family, friends and loved ones. Man, what who is, who is like a way of life? Okay. You know, I'm older now, I really ain't into it, but that's right. I used to wake up in the morning and I, I'm grooving off the top. Okay. You know what I mean? And hold on. You just said some real to teach you what's under your groove. <laughs> what's under your groove, under the groove what's under man. your groove what, what you know it's, uh, but basically my groove is uh right now is is making money mm -hmm. taking care of my grandkids mm -hmm. and my wife mm -hmm. and uh keeping my business going that's my groove I, there groove, you go grooving just don't come with me it's just and i'm what's still that? yeah i'm still representing the h on all fronts uh, but uh, uh, my groove is 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 just living right now, uh, and 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 proud of where I came from. There you go. Proud of the H. Okay. Proud of everything I did representing the H. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, would uh, you change anything? I wouldn't change nothing, man. It went the way it went. You know, mm -hmm. and, and and I'll do it over. Okay. You know, I might okay. make a few changes doing over, but yeah. I do it over. Okay. You know what I mean? Because uh, uh it was a, it was a a life. A life experience, something that you know a lot of people can't even fathom. And it Once helped in a me lifetime, home. yeah. It helped me today. Like you know, when I'm seeing stuff, and uh, when youngsters is doing, I, it's just nothing. I didn't seen it all. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So nothing, nothing can get past me on on nothing. Just living around there on Hoover, just in the fifties, and mm -hmm. I'm talking about from all the way from full trade to the one way. You right, know? right. I didn't did all recon on every street. You know, on every so, street. Uh, yeah. yeah. So you know, I know homies from every every street. So you know, just and I, I love that's it. That's beautiful. I love it. Yeah, you know what see, I mean. That's beautiful. Um, what does five deuce mean to you? Five deuce is a way of life for me. You know, also that's that's a uh, that's my that's my life. You know, I'm from from a Fifty Second Street. You know, I, I came to evolve on that street. That's where my my eyes got open. That's why I came off the porch. Okay, you know what I'm saying 52nd okay. Street is me, you know, it means a lot to me. Okay, okay, that's it. Um, we've answered this, but again, 
what comes first in your mind? Hoover or Crip? Hoover comes first. Okay. Because when I speak on Hoover, I'm speaking on all these sets right here. There you go. Okay. What's that? What says though? Huh? You got them right here. I want them to see that. Five dudes. Seven, four, eight, trade, nine, do nine, four, five, nine, eleven, dudes. All the way to one oh seven, right there. Got it all right there. And 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 let's be fair in terms of, you know, in terms historically speaking, a lot of homies would disagree, but you cannot leave out nine oh. No, they was there from the beginning, you know. Okay. And, uh, Big Willie Bone. Okay. All them donut. Yeah. You know, gang of little yeah. T Low. Yeah. I'm trying to help him get out right now. You know what I mean? Man, get some rich that's going love. for him. That's love, see? You know what I'm saying? So, but uh, yeah. uh, other than that, you know. We, we quick to forget because yeah. it didn't go right. I want to say you something know? about that I didn't uh, say. Uh, uh, five deuces. Uh, we did have somebody who was there before. The, uh, after when the gladiators was called Herbert Gates. He had the mm -hmm. underground, five deuce underground. So, okay. You know, it was real cool. And then we had another uh, homie down on 49th. His name was Raymond Chapman. AKA Maniac, he ended mm -hmm. up turning five six syndicate. Mm -hmm. And uh he was like on Hoover right there. And he tried to get everybody to claim 49th Street Hoover way back in like uh, uh 77. You know, what I mean? 49th Street Hoover, 49 yeah, Hoover. 49. He was he was the only one over there with a shotgun hanging out. Uh with a shotgun? Yeah, he had a shotgun right behind the brick wall right there on 49th Street. And Herbert Gates and uh, uh Bogart, they had the uh, they was the underground, so he was connected with the uh, Avalon with the uh, uh, Avalon fire tray Avalon, okay. but actually they yeah. was just uh, East Side Crips. They was connected okay. with them, but they was right over there too. They didn't really last a long time, but when they, yeah. while they were up and running, they did their thing. Okay, okay. So, um, I want to hit you off with this, man. Um, uh, this concerns the podcast, and man, it is corrected. Um, it's four phases to this get out. Most don't know. They just see Hoover and they think, oh, you know, did you? don't understand what the real plan is or the, with the idea the concept the four phases of this is like uh it's the hoover story you gave us that the second is a cautionary existence or tale which is what we want to get from you next after that will be atonement and then the fourth one is who's the real enemy so can you speak to number two the cautionary existence or a cautionary tale what can you give the people in terms of the cautions these, you know this role man well, when we, establish, only. when we establish five dudes, you're establishing a territory, mm -hmm. a territory to where if you want to get down with your get down right there, you can be safe in these territories. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you always got to be cautious on anything. But uh, five dudes, we probably got the biggest, the largest land for us when it comes mm -hmm. down to who's in anybody else, because it's kind of like almost a mile. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have to be cautious. You don't know who moving in there. I like I get this to the little homies who still out doing anything. Yeah. You don't know. You got to know. We used to do recon. We used to go right. down every street and right. find out who was new on that street. Somebody right. did that. Coke dog, the homie little yep. Coke dog, rest in peace. He had a crew. They used to go down every street to find out who was new. That's right on the street. So he he, he uh, uh, I would say to if they still if you know you got still got the patrol mm -hmm. even though. Most of our people is limited in the neighborhood now. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was coming up, every street was black. Yeah. Okay. It wasn't, yeah. Uh, now it's not. You, you know, might have one Hispanic family, a Mexican that's family. That's it, but the whole you know, street yeah, was, was black. black. Yeah. You know, so now, let me let me um, enlighten you to this respect. Now, when we're talking about cautionary, there is that because we're talking about safety. Yeah. We're talking about, you know, understanding, you know what I'm saying? Like you said, who's in our perimeter? Right. There's right. that caution you have to take into account. Also, though, that we're speaking about, or let's speak to those who want to think about this. Get out, man. What are the cautionary, you know, um, um, not just measures, but stories you could tell that will help, you know, make them think twice about this shit. This, you know, the pitfalls and, you know, what's on the wayside, man. You know, all the shit that's in the road for this banging shit, this lifestyle, man. There's a caution. There has to be a, a, a cautionary tale to give a younger individual, boy or girl to sway them, you know what I mean, from this get down right here, man, because it ain't all it's cut up to be, you know what I'm saying? We talk about it now like we do, but we went through some shit as a result of that shit. 
what would you do? How would you caution someone about this lifestyle, man? I ain't gonna cost you nobody. I want all the members I can have, but you know, uh, we need fresh, fresh youngsters to still claim who, you know. But if to be cautionary about it, I would say I would tell them to go to school. Don't get off in the game, man, because it's a lifestyle that's gonna capture you. Mm -hmm. You're probably gonna have to, uh, you're gonna have to give up everything. Mm -hmm. You got to do some things that you're probably gonna be scared to do. You know, as far as uh, out there in the street, if you're gonna represent it. It's always going to be somebody from another game that don't like you. And uh, you're going to have to uh, put your life on the line if mm -hmm. that's what you want to do. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't, you know, right now, I don't know. Kids is built different than they was from when I was coming up. So, I, you know, some of them get into it for a fashion. Yeah. And that's wrong. Yeah. It's a dream. You know I mean? Because, life. you know, you could die. Yeah. Uh, there you uh, go. Uh, representing this. So there you, you have to be real cautious about yeah. What what move you gonna make? Go mm -hmm. play basketball, football, yeah. or do something else. But you know, truth is, you you died doing a whole lot of good shit. Yeah, but if you but get signed up with this gang yeah. right here, you really putting a target yeah. on you. You know, so there's that. Now I'm I'm gonna move on because I think that's expressive enough. You know, you actually, you know, I think you hit the nail on the head, man. Um, in terms of atonement, the life we've led, you know, you because my life isn't yours, yours is mine. The life you led. You know, you know what that is. You know what you've done throughout your lifetime. In terms of atonement, how have you atoned for some shit you knew that you needed to atone for? What What were some things you did to give back, so to speak? Well, you know, I've sat back and uh, right now, the only give back I'm doing right now, I'm trying to help homies get out of prison. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing rich. Uh, I'm in contact with the uh, uh, University of uh, Riverside Law School right now to try to see if they can get some of the homies with three strikes out mm -hmm. while the law has been beat up, the door is open. Right. So I'm kind of giving back like that right now. Mm -hmm. uh, other than that, I always, whatever I can do, uh, homie call me, they need whatever I can do, I do it. Mm -hmm. So I'm always on deck for, uh, okay. to give to get back. Get back and help out. Yeah. Okay. Then there's the last one, and we call this Who's the Real Enemy? You the basically you the enemy. Yo, you you your own enemy. You your own responsibility. You your own responsibility. Your own enemy. So ain't nobody. You know you got enemies for as this other sets, but mm -hmm. the real enemy is right up in your mind right mm -hmm. here. That's you got to your decisions control your life. Okay, and it, it ain't the government. It ain't that dude with the red rag or the other blue rag. It's it's you. Life is what you make it, not how you mm -hmm. take it. So you got to go ahead on. Life is what? Life is what you make it, not how you take it. Okay. So, you okay. know, you got to be able to make yeah. decisions. Mm -hmm. And that's called, well, life is figuring it out. That's right. Okay. Figuring it out, making sure that uh, you make the right decisions, especially when you get older, you know what I mean? It's right. things that you ain't right. be able to do. Right. You know what I mean? That's just it and that's all, man. So be real. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be one hundred with you. There's some things you know, <laughs> my mind telling me that I I know how to do like, but I can't stupid. I, I ain't gonna be able to do it. Okay. Oh right, let me yeah. yeah, man. I appreciate that. Yeah. Okay, uh before we go, man, and I know we pressed you with ten minutes. Okay, before we go, look, man, let me hit you with this. Three things. What was your favorite song from back in the day? I had a whole lot of them, but give, uh, give me deuce. Give me two. Oh, oh, uh, uh my, the whatnots, the song. What was it? Oh, the, it was like uh, the song, friends by day and lovers yeah. by night. You know, and uh, I, I used to go to That's the I used to go to the skating ring. Okay, and, uh, um, I, I, mean, I love Curtis Blow. The breaks, come on, man. The yeah. breaks. You come know on, man. I mean? That was All my right, best. No. <laughs> okay, uh, hey, your female that you had the biggest crush on back in the day. Oh, and she's still around. My, yeah, I used to. My first slow dance was with Odessa Taylor. What school? Where was y'all at? At what party? We was at a house party on 52nd. We Clotel gave a house party. We was up in there and they was playing Just My Imagination. <laughs> grabbed Odessa. Boy, that was my first slow dance, man. All right. I still remember that today. Every time I uh, see her, man. I still, yeah. Yeah, she's still around. She's doing That's what's up. Too, That's yeah. what's up, bro. And uh, your favorite car, man. What was oh, that? Oh, man. I'm 61 in Palo. 61. Mm, yes. Love that. Oh, that. Man. oh shit. Okay, look, I'm going to give you an opportunity, man, to some shots out, man. Talk to the people before we cut this thing short, man. Let them know where you at, man, how you feel about them. 
I want to give a shout out, man, to uh, all the homies that gave their life. Mm-hmm. Big Coco, mm-hmm. uh, Ray, uh, little little Pony, Coke, a uh, little Coke dog, a uh, little twin, Ballhead Sean, a uh, Big Chim, yeah. little baby Chim. Uh, I want, uh, man, so many homies have passed away. Uh, CC, both CCs. This is a whole lot of homies, man, that uh, that's gone, man. They gave their life up there, man, all the way up and down the groove. I want to give yeah. a shout out to everybody. I want to give a shout out to all the homies in other states. That's right, man. Keep the groove going, H's. man. man we H's, it, man. we we grooving on under the groove only. Yeah. Under the groove only. Yeah. I know they trying to get at y'all out there, man. We they trying to get at y'all to come interview with them about yeah. Uva's history. Man, stick to this group, man. It ain't just four takes to the one way anymore. It's LA <laughs> to New York. <laughs> all worldwide, all between, all worldwide. Uber verse. That's right. Yeah. What else you got? Hey, let me ask you something. This is a gym for the people. You used to play professional basketball, man. Yeah, I was all city man yards 1977. I went to Southern University. I got drafted by Portland. And I, I played over in seas in Germany for two years. Come on, man. What? Who was on just game back? Yeah. Yeah. That's a, you about the third, fourth homie that was in professional sports. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah that was uh yeah. that was my thing, man. But I was, you know, playing go to school in the day, gang banging at night. Man. That's how it was. That's how it was, huh? All right, man. This has been OG 10 speed, five dudes, Hoover Gangster Crip. Look, man. Y'all saw it here first, you know. We're going to have other Hoovers from 52nd Street, you know, grace the podcast with their presence, man, in time. Uh, I got something special for you guys when we air this, man. I got something coming behind this, man, for the homies. You know, much love out to the homie Rico. You know it's out of love, one H's. All right? Um, Real quick shout-outs, man. I want to shoot out, man, a shout-out to Smack from Back on Fig. What's up, man? Also, T-Rail, what's happening? You know, uh. China man, Mr. Damon Porter, H's homie, love you. Do your thing, man. Quit playing. Keep doing you. OG Bam from Compton. One love, bro. I need more information on that unity wall. You, know, you want some hooves? I need to, okay, well, I'm going to send these hooves, man, to get this thing done. And Milk 7-4. Hey, man, keep grooving. Seven minutes, point four seconds, man. Get your groove on, man. Don't stop. All right? Hey, man. Killer White, love you. Little Spike, big love white, you. Big White. Yo, Big White. Hey, man, that's more dude. Big yeah, White, yeah, big dude, <laughs> man. You know, and all to the brothers, to all the other brothers and sisters, man, all across the land, whether you Crip or Blood, man. Look, all love, man. This is how Hoover do it, man. Um, That said, you are, you have been, and you will be under the groove. Hey, just... Trey folks, except the left and the deuce and the nine. You have been, you will be under the field. But we ain't game banging. This is about the education. We're trying to educate our youth right now, nigga. Hey. Said day is the best day to skip walking across the floor in the best way. So train to the one way. It's a stump day. LA to the NY. Let the smoke You know, back in them days, it was Seven love, loyalty, that respect, and honesty. That's my nigga Gumby right Nowadays. there. You know, the the ex busters, hooks, and snitches put on pedestals and venerate. Don't say lows on that Uber shit. HIP, Tommy Moon, one of the hardest. Poets I ever heard connected with the star shit. Hey. Baby Jap and Jap 5, quick to set it off on the mic in the shack live. When the shit get real and feel, cause the wheels up yeah. the boot and then you will see the like light. Like you will sit up in that motherfucker, look at that light center, that death center. Then they run into the witness staff, yelling on me all home, boys. Yeah. Hoover Stump, all night. Hoover Stump, all night. I know somebody know how to start them here. I'm going to tell you what I'm going I'm a New York nigga in the Pacific Sun. I say West Side Hoover if you ask where I'm from. Find this California run, still infusing my lungs. All about my bread, I ain't leaving. Understand the end game. What's your end game? I'm leaving the car. I keep one in the head or I don't need a gun. I'm with Hawk on Hoover Street with a long ass drum. Hop a damn figure out with a whole stolen cut. You have been. Like this, come second to none. Grooving like Scotty Young, grooving like Booker Brown. I'm bad to the bone.